Hi, nap time friends. It's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a pour over on this piece. I've got a little bit of flow troll on it. That's okay. So I have two of these we're going to pour over. This is a 16 by 20 canvas and I just didn't like how this was turning out. I was trying to go for like a bronze, brown, gold vibe. So these are the colors we're going to be using. The Artist Love Acrylic Paint in Copper. Apple Barrel Burnt Umber, Apple Barrel White, Primal Flow Premixed Paint in Ink and Gold. This color is amazing. That is what you're seeing on this canvas. Can you see that metallic gold? That is the Ink and Gold. It's really pretty. So I mixed up all my paints, one part paint, two parts Floetrol. I strained my Floetrol before um, I mix my paints because you don't want Floetrol boogers up in your paint. This is the consistency of my paint. And this color, I just took some burnt umber and some white and mixed it together to get this lighter brown color. Do you see how that mound is just disappearing? That's what you're looking for. No silicone in the paint. I'm gonna do a straight pour and a flip cup, I think. So let's hit it. First thing I'm gonna do is flood my canvas with this brown, the burnt umber. So now I'm going to make my straight pour cup. I'm going in with a little bit of the white, some of the copper, a little bit of that brown, lighter brown color I made with the burnt umber and the white, and then some burnt umber. And I'm also going to add a little bit of ink and gold. Shake it up a little bit first. And when you put your paint in your cup, make sure you do it gently. You want the paint to sit on top of each other. Now I'm going to make my flip cup. Do a little bit of white, copper. This time I switched it up, add a little bit of the burnt umber, and then the lighter brown color, and some of the ink and gold. So I'm just gonna flip that on my canvas here. I did not mean for the paint to come flying out, but you can see some of the white and the ink and gold already lacing up right there. So I'm just gonna go in and do a straight pour, kinda in an L shape going down and then across the canvas. The Artist Loft Flow Acrylic was really starting to sell up. Can you guys see that over there? It was just selling like crazy. I was like, oh my gosh, I was not going for sales on this piece, but that's okay. Now I'm going to lift and drag that flip cup, just trying to spread that paint out a little bit and add the little bit of extra paint that's in the cup to the corner right here. Now I'm going to take the paint that's in my cups and just kind of go around the flip cup and the straight pour and just add paint where there's not too much paint. Check out the cells on the flip cup with the burnt umber and the copper it was selling up like crazy. Now I'm going to tilt this guy around. Let's see what happens. I'm going to try to pour off some of this, these cells because I wasn't going for too many cells. So I'm going to try to pour some of that off.
I am not liking this at all. It is so ugly. I like the straight pour section, but not the flip cup section. So I'm going to try to do some straight pours on top of the flip cup section and see if I can save this one. So I'm going to start with a little bit of white in this next cup. I'm going to do a little bit of the copper and then some of the burnt umber and some of the lighter brown color I made and some of the ink and gold. And I'm just going to go in and do a few straight pours on the canvas. I always try to make a little bit of extra paint for this exact reason. Um, if you're not liking how something's turning out, you can always go in and try to save it. And straight pours always turn out pretty in my opinion. So that's what my, I like to, one of the ways I like to try to save a pour if I'm not liking how it's turning out is just put some straight pours on it. I'm going to call that good. I didn't want to add too much paint on the canvas because it already had a bunch of paint on there. So I'm going to tilt this around and see what we can come up with. There is a lot of paint on here, so I'm just going to try to pour some of the paint off because I don't want to have problems with it drying. Uh, if you have too much paint on your canvas, it will crack when it dries, so you want to make sure you don't have too much paint on there. I'm going to call this one done. Uh, check it out. What do you think? Do you think it looks better or worse? <laughs> and here I'm just going in with my hand and getting any drips off of the back side of the canvas. You want to make sure you do that too. So here's a little bit of a close up. Do you see that gray line right there? That is from the light brown color that I made with the burnt umber and the white. I was like, what in the world? Why did that turn gray? But can you see the shimmer? The copper from Artist Loft and the Primal Flow ink and gold is really pretty and shimmery. I love, love, love metallics. I'm liking this way more than what I had on there before. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Now I'm going to try to work on my second canvas that I had here. I went ahead and put some white in my cup. Now I'm going to do copper, the light brown color I made, burnt umber, and then some ink and gold. And I'm just going to make some straight pours on the canvas and then go around those with the paint that is left over in my color cups of colors.
Now I'm just going in with my leftover paint from my cups and I'm just going to go around these straight pores and add a little bit more paint. Next time I need to make sure that my base layer is perfectly flat and um, you know applied evenly on my canvas because when it's not flat you'll get these weird zigzag lines you'll see when I start tilting this around but I don't know why making the base layer perfectly flat is a hardship for me I feel like I have such a hard time with that but I'll just keep practicing Now I'm going to tilt this one around and see what we can come up with. Here you can see what I was talking about with the funky lines. See how they're going into my puddles? I don't know what was causing that. Is that from the base layer not being perfectly even? Let me know down in the comments if you know what causes that. I'm going to call this one done too. I will show you guys what they look like when they are all nice and dry, probably in about a week or so. And here they are, nice and dry. The one on the left is the second canvas, but look at that metallic. It is so pretty. These don't have a gloss varnish on them yet. I haven't had a chance to do that. I'm probably going to let them dry a couple more days. But what do you guys think about these? I've been digging lines lately. See that metallic from the copper and the ink and gold? Uh, once you get a gloss varnish on these, that metallic really pops. I wish I would have been able to uh, put it on and show you guys. But I'll definitely show you in a future video once I get the varnish applied. And this is the first one that I did. It has some really pretty stuff going on. In the bottom corner, there's some cells. And see that metallic? It's just gorgeous. What do you guys think about these ones? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope everybody's having an awesome Friday and you guys have a lovely weekend. I'll see you on Monday for another video. Bye!